Hello and welcome to Learn A Level Biology for Free with Miss Estrick. Today's session is on phagocytosis, so linking on from the previous um, video on antigens and the immune system. If you've not already watched that, I'll link it up here so you can see the introduction. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe, and if you have liked today's video at the end, please give it a thumbs up. So if you want to make notes as you go, just grab some paper and pen for the start. So the immune response, if a pathogen does manage to get past the chemical or physical barriers, which could be the skin acting as a barrier, or um, within the chemical barriers, we've got the stomach acid, the next line of defense would be the white blood cells in the immune system. And the white blood cells have specific, but also non-specific responses. So a non-specific response would be the phagocytes, which is what we're going to focus on today. Lymphocytes are going to be coming up in the next two videos on cell mediated and their humoral response, which I'll link just here once they're made. So the phagocytes is what we're looking at today. And they conduct phagocytosis. So a phagocyte, another name, is a macrophage, and that's the type of white blood cell they are. And they are the white blood cells which carry out phagocytosis. The phagocytes, you find them naturally occurring, floating around in the blood, but also within your tissue, so within um, your tissues and your cells. So phagocytosis is a non-specific response. The meaning of that is the phagocytes will respond exactly the same no matter what the non-self cell is which has been detected. So it's not specific to a particular antigen. So whatever the substance is which is detected as non-self, it will be destroyed. So here we have a very basic overview, but we're gonna go through it step by step in the detail that you'd need for A-level, and in particular I'm focusing on AQA. So step one, phagocytes are within the blood and tissues, as we said, and if they do detect any chemicals, or it could be debris released by pathogens or abnormal cells, that will attract the phagocyte and it will move towards the chemicals which are being released by this debris or um, the toxins. Within the phagocyte, we can see there are actually receptors and these receptors can bind to the pathogen. They will attach to the chemicals or antigens on the pathogen via those receptors. The phagocyte will then change shape and we can see actually moving around to engulf that pathogen. Once engulfed, the pathogen is then contained within a phagosome vesicle which is actually over this side, we've got it's contained, um, moved around, and then it's contained within that vesicle. And we call this vesicle a phagosome. So it's now contained. The next step is a lysosome, which is a vesicle within the phagocyte, will fuse with the phagosome. And when it does fuse, it releases its contents. And the lysosomes contain an enzyme called lysozyme, and that lysozyme is released into the phagosome. Lysozyme is a lytic enzyme, and what that means is this enzyme has the ability to hydrolyze or destroy pathogens. So as a result, the pathogen which has been engulfed within that phagosome gets destroyed. And when it is then broken down, the soluble products can be absorbed and used by the phagocytes, they'll be recycled. And the antigen is then placed on the cell surface membrane. And the phagocyte then becomes an antigen presenting cell. And there'll be more on that in the next video. So that's it. In summary, phagocytes are white blood cells, which will do phagocytosis. And the key example is a macrophage. Phagocytosis is a non-specific mechanism, meaning that it doesn't matter what the foreign uh, particle is, whether it is an abnormal cell, whether it is a cell from another organism of the same species, so for example a transplant, whether it is a pathogen, it will still respond the same way by engulfing and destroying. The way that the pathogens are actually destroyed is by lysosomes fusing with the phagosome, releasing lysozyme enzyme, and that will hydrolyze and destroy the pathogen. 
So if you do want to have a go at some practice questions, head over to MissEstrick.com. And if you have enjoyed today's video, found it helpful, then please do give it a thumbs up.